The Deauville Beach Resort in Miami Beach was designed by Melvin Grossman and built in 1957. Located at 6701 Collins Avenue, the all-inclusive resort featured a large swimming pool, a beauty salon, restaurants, shops, a radio station, and an ice skating rink. The Miami Modernist-style hotel attracted a lot of big-name celebrities, such as Frank Sinatra, Judy Garland, Elvis Presley, Sammy Davis Jr., and Jerry Lewis. In 1961, President John F. Kennedy also stayed at the Deauville and gave a speech there to the Young Democrats. But what really put the hotel on the map was the 1964 Beatles performance on The Ed Sullivan Show, taped in the Deauville's Napoleon Ballroom on February 16, 1964. The Beatles, an up-and-coming music group from Liverpool, England, were not well known in America yet. More than 70 million viewers tuned in, and America fell in love with the Fab Four. Ladies and gentlemen, here are four of the nicest jumpsuits we've ever had on our stage. The Beatles! Bring them on! The historic Deauville brought Beatlemania to Miami Beach and helped to launch the Beatles' career. Today, the once glamorous building sits crumbling and virtually forgotten. Over the years, the hotel fell into disrepair and was finally closed in 2017 after a small electrical fire. Florida native Gary McKechnie is a writer, speaker, and a lifelong Beatles fan. He's on a mission to save the Deauville. My grandmother lived in Miami Beach, so I would go down there. And when I started getting into the Beatles way back, almost 50 years ago now, when I was old enough to find out where the hotel was, it's like, oh, the Beatles walked through those doors and the Beatles played in that room. It was, it was just fascinating for me that this place existed. I mean, and of all the hotels in Miami, Miami Beach, and there's some wonderful ones. I used to, uh, I'm a travel writer, so I have written about Miami for decades, that's the one that they chose. If you're not a Beatles fan, you might not appreciate its importance. But if you are a Beatles fan, then it's like, this has something that none of these other hotels in Miami have. This is something that you can't replicate. There will never be another group like the Beatles. And the, the fact that they stayed there and it has that connection to history, I, I think that's a good case for saving this historic hotel. Bob Keeling is an Emmy Award-winning journalist and author. He's currently writing a book about the Beatles and their time in Florida in 1964. Like Gary McKechnie, Bob Keeling is passionate about saving the Deauville. It's an incredibly historic place. JFK was there as sitting president, Judy Garland, the Supremes, I mean just all of these great acts, Sinatra, and then you bring in the Beatles live on Ed Sullivan before 70 million people. And, and as a historic preservationist who's been lucky to co-found three historic landmarks already here in Florida, mostly kind of in this pop culture vein, I, I'm just incredulous to see the, the state of disrepair that it's in. To their credit, the city of Miami Beach is trying to do something about it and not let it waste away. But right now it's basically a high-end flop house for transients and the place is falling apart by attrition bit by bit, and we just can't allow that to happen. This should have been declared an historic landmark years ago, and you know, from my perspective as a historic preservationist, we gotta do all we can to save it. That's part of this mission of, of writing the book would be drawing attention to this incredibly historic place. The Deauville once symbolized the glamor and excitement of Miami. With a little help, the hotel could be brought back to life again, Bob Keeling. You know, that stage is still there where the Beatles were on Sullivan. It's still there. It's still in the ballroom of the hotel that's falling apart day by day. I really hope that something can be done about the Deauville Hotel. The notion of knocking it down and, you know, putting up some sign or something to me is a lousy idea. I think we have the chance to save it. And, and it's obviously much bigger than me, but the fact that we have that incredibly historic stage sitting there forgotten. You know, you think about the Ed Sullivan Theater where the Beatles played the first time. My God, it's a venerable landmark. And the Deauville is forgotten. And uh, I, I hope we do something about it before it's too late. 
because Florida played a critical part in the Beatles year where everything just exploded for them. And, and it's time we recognize that we do something about it. And the first step in, in that process, as far as I'm concerned, is save the Deauville. Hashtag save the Deauville. For nearly a decade, Gary McKechnie has been campaigning to save the Deauville and to place a historical marker there. His original vision was for the hotel to be restored by 2014, in time for the 50th anniversary of the Beatles' historic Ed Sullivan performance in the Deauville Ballroom. Despite the efforts of Gary McKechnie, Bob Keeling, and others, the Deauville is currently vacant and neglected. There's still a chance to save the Deauville in time for the 60th anniversary in 2024. Gary McKechnie. We're still talking about them. We're still talking about a place that they stayed at, a hotel that they stayed at. You don't talk about that unless it's George Washington slept here, the Beatles slept here. That's how important this is, and that's why I'm really pleased uh, that the city of Miami is starting to take a role and starting to push this forward where this hotel can be saved. And once it's saved, I'm going to be paying for that historic marker that's going to go in front of it, and I'm going to book the Beatles tribute band that's going to be playing there on opening night. For Florida Frontiers, I'm Holly Baker, Public History Coordinator for the Florida Historical Society and Manager of the Brevard Museum of History and Natural Science in Cocoa.